Okay, so gonna make a quick video today on adding to Cornerstone. Uh, CLM has 184 in it, CRF has 183. I just need to get it equal weight uh, to Cornerstone. So we're just gonna buy it $1,000 while the yield is still high. The yield is roughly 18%, so that's still pretty high. And um, if I'm wrong and the Fed reports today a bad number and we pull back, I have uh, plenty of cash to add. Uh, as you can see, we're in 200 grand margin. So uh, I don't have, technically I have no cash. I'm negative 200 cash, but I have, I like to make that number around 200,000, a round number. And, and when I add to uh, CRF and CLM after the Fed report today. I'll do one and one each. And that'll get those to equal 185, 185. And that'll get this debt number to 200. All manageable numbers, easy to understand. Um, and I just wanted to show you one more thing that Cornerstone is up today when the market is down. You see the tab above, Dow down a percent. That's because the drip is working. The dividend reinvestment program. Uh, today, everyone got paid their dividends. Um, as you can see, uh, I'll show you my dividends. Um, they're right here. This is only half of them. Uh, the other half is coming tomorrow, but Cornerstone you know, paid its dividend today. And that just means that people are reinvesting uh, like I'm doing. See, I'm reinvesting my shares. It hasn't showed up yet uh, because I, I think it takes a couple of days for them to reinvest those shares uh, and drip them. Um, you would see them here on the dates. It would be two something. So we don't see them reinvested yet, but uh, they will be, and they'll be at NAV, which is consistent considerably lower than the current market prices of 7.9 and 8.6. Last time I checked the NAV, the net asset value was at in the in the sixes. So uh so we're making good money today. That doesn't matter. What matters is we're percentage wise beating the S P as you can see above. And again the reason why is because of the C's because they reinvest and the stock goes up, the fund goes up when people are reinvesting their shares, obviously. And the yield is still so high that I chose to add to some here and I'm still waiting to fill out those two positions to 185 after, until the Fed speaks. After the Fed announces, we'll know what their uh, interest rates are gonna be and that'll tell me what margin rate I should have, what margin level I should have. Because five percent, if they go by seven seventy-five basis points, point seven five or point two five basis points, that uh, it doesn't make much of a difference in our margin. But it's still, you know, if they come out with a higher than expected number, like point seven five, then I might be reluctant to just add to margin so soon. Because then people will think a recession's coming, and then the market could pull back some. And after all, it's had a huge run to start the year, so it could consolidate some of its gains, and then. I would be kicking myself for having bought too early. So I'm waiting for the Fed decision to see what happens. So stay tuned for those updates. And appreciate, please, why Cornerstone works and why I have so much money in it. Okay? Thank you very much.